Hey, it's me, Jack Kick here, and today I'm gonna show you how to. And today I'm gonna show you how to get the LG G3 uh real like status bar thing. You know, like up here, like as some of you may have saw in my uh, other G3 video. And um, wait a minute, why is Wi-Fi off? And I'm also going to show you how to get, um, I'm going to show you how to get this G3 widget I have here. So first of all, you're going to need to, you're going to need to look up this app called Freedom. Because there are going to be in-app purchases, and I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to be purchasing stuff. And my other, my other video where... I said, my other video, I suggested to uh, get a free version of something, you know, to change the UI. Yeah, alright. Okay, so, yeah. And you're actually, and this other thing I want to mention is an in in-app purchase. So, so yeah, first of all, you're going to need to go on the Play Store and get Zuper Widget Pro. No, I am not joking. It is called Zuper Widget Pro. Right? You're going to have to buy that. Alright. Then after you buy Zuper Widget Pro, you're going to have to... Go to the Play Store again, and then no, I just I should have just stayed in the Play Store, but it doesn't matter. G two box. Wait for it to load. Okay, that's taking a while. Okay, that's unfortunate, but all I have to do is install G2 Tweaks box. See, it'll look like this. See, you see it highlighted in red? Yeah, it'll look like that. Alright, so now I'm to install those two. Oh, by the way, I forgot, you have to be rooted to use G2 Tweaks box. For getting the widget, you don't need to be rooted. So, so if you want to get the status bar... Either, there's two ways. Either one, you pay legitimately, uh, you either pay the in-app purchase legitimately for G2 Tweaks box, or you use this app called Freedom. You can just, like, Google it. Alright, so... So you can just search up Freedom APK. Alright. Alright, so there will be plenty of downloads here. Alright. See, I suggest you to use the first two ones. Alright. Alright, so after that, you're gonna want to open up Freedom. Wait, first. After you install Freedom, you're gonna want to obviously open it up. Oh, but, and there's also one thing. Uh, you're gonna have to disable unknown sources. So... Yeah, open up Freedom. Doesn't usually take that long to load, but I think it's because I'm using... And it'll pop... And that message will pop up. This, freedom, this app may be illegal in your country. Now, if you don't like doing illegal stuff, and, you know, like, if you're one of those people who, like, you know, doesn't like that type of stuff... Well, I just don't suggest 
you use it. But if you, like, really don't have any money and stuff, I suggest you use it. So anyway, and as you can see, it'll say, it'll say start. Now, actually, it'll already be started, but I stopped it just for the sake of two things. One, uh, even though I did use it for a little bit, I kind of don't like the fact that, you know, it's kind of illegal. And two, well, well, it was actually glitching up my Google Play a little bit, so be careful, because if you use this with some things, It'll glitch up your Google Play. For example, like this Iron Man wallpaper thing I have. And I tried buying that using Freedom. Then, uh, when I tried buying that using Freedom, it actually glitched up my Google Play system thing. Yeah, so I had to stop the service. But anyway, yeah. So, you either use Freedom, or you pay legitimately for a G2 Tweaks box. Right. Iron Man? Are you gonna load the apps or what? Okay, there you go. So once you get the full version of G2 Tweaks box, You're gonna wanna ha you're gonna wanna go to oh, come on, I'm not even using the home screen. Screw you, Iron Man. Your birthday came up. I won. I won. Alright. Alright, you're gonna have to go to all right, notification panel, and you're going to have to select Enable D3 Flat UI. All right? That's, that, I, that's actually a new feature. Okay, so now you're going to have to get Jeepo Widget Pro, like I said, and, and you're going to... And you're gonna have to look on the Google Play Store for some uh, G3 skins. There are some really good ones out there. Actually, let me just check the one I'm using. Come on. Iron Man, this is why I hate you sometimes. Iron Man. Okay, there we go. Okay. So I'm you. Okay, I'm using the LG G3 widget one, I think. It. And the ironic thing is, both of these widget, but the ultimate G3 skin is still better. But um, yeah. Well, the Ultimate G3 skin is better because it actually gets your location right most of the time. So, yeah. But the ironic thing is, in my last video, I was just showing how they, like... I was just showing how to apply the UI. Now, they both the G3 theme and the Ultimate G3 theme are even more useful now. So, just choose Ultimate G3. And when you get in there, you're actually gonna have to do something. Well, if well, if it shows up a certain way, all right. If it shows up like this, actually, it's never showed up like this before. Okay, but you're gonna have to go in the layout, and you're gonna have to fix all this jumbling mess. See, for example, you try and find something. You're gonna have to like move all of these using this, and it's gonna take some work. But yeah. All right. Don't save, please. Please don't save. Okay. Hopefully that did not save. So yeah. 
Um, that's all the time I have for today. Don't forget to comment, read, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And as I say, peace out.